Hello, this is James McDonald back at you with another video on the strength of the magnets on the zero force motor, uh, rotor and axle, and how it reacts. Right here, I have a tool that measures um, north and south pole of the magnet. We're going to do a quick test of the tool north, south. All right, we're going to put this all to the side, this magnet. And now we're going to do some test of the zero force rotor uh, magnet setup. We have a north, south, north, south. Now we're going to test, you know, all the way up the rotor, and there's nothing or the shaft, and there's nothing up this side of the shaft. You can see, and then when we come in around the rotor, we have really nothing on the sides of the rotor. And when we get to here, on the very edge of the rotor, we see in the, the south and the north, right at the very edge, it's coming from the magnet. So it's magnetized the arm here. And now we're going to show the other uh, stronger magnets. Um, and by the way, these magnets here were um, Neodym N52s and they're three quarter inch by one half inch tall. Next, we're going to show a uh, rotor, the new rotor with the new magnets. Uh, these these magnets are uh, two inches long by one inch wide by half inch tall, and we're going to show the the field with the tool here, and we're going to north, south north, south. Now we're going to show the uh, feel of the going down the shaft. You see when it gets about two inches away from the magnets we are showing a north. Now if I rotate this I got a south. And if I rotate this I got a north. If I rotate this, I got a south. And on the other side of the rotor, about the same distance in, I have a south. North. South. North. And this is going up the the actual shaft, you can see I'm moving it back and forth. Rotate around here, come all the way down the shaft. And uh, that's about it for this video. Thanks for watching.